Okay guys, let's go through the butterfly method that we saw today. So remember when you first start out, you wanna make sure the fractions you have are only in fraction form. And I can tell by looking at both of these, they're set up in just fraction form. So I'm gonna go ahead and set up my butterfly. So I'm gonna set up my two wings, the antennas, and then the bottom. And then I'm gonna go through and set it up so I can get my multiplying. So if I look in this direction, three times nine is 27. In the other direction, seven times eight is 56. So if I wanna go through and add those two together, that's gonna end up being 83 on the top. On the bottom, I'm gonna look at multiplying those two together. So seven times nine is 63. So that's gonna be 63 in the bottom. So the first thing we need to do is to check whether this can reduce or not. So if we put 83 over 63 in our calculator, there's nothing that's gonna go on as far as reducing. So now because the top is larger, I'm gonna divide it out. So 83 gets divided by 63, it goes in there once. So one times 63 is 63. And if I subtract, I have 20 left. So if I do my check mark method, it's gonna be one and 20 over 63. Okay, let's take a look at another. Here's my next one. So to start out, because they're both in fraction form, I'm gonna make my butterfly. Okay, so if I go in this direction first, one times 10 is 10. If I go in the other direction, five times eight is 40. So if I add those two together, that's gonna be 50. If I look at the bottom, I'm gonna to have to multiply these two together. So five times 10 is 50. So if I put 50 on the bottom, those two numbers match, so it's gonna end up being one. Okay, one last one. Okay, I have this set up, both are fractions, so we're in good shape. So we're gonna set up our butterfly. So if I start out, I look at this pair first. So four times seven is 28. If I go in the other direction, eight times one is eight. So if I add those together, that's gonna be 36. On the bottom, I need to multiply these two together. So eight times seven is 56, and that's gonna be in the bottom. Okay, now we need to take our fraction and see if we can reduce it. So 36 over 56 reduces down to nine over 14. Now remember, if the bottom is a larger number, you don't have to make it a mixed number. Okay, it's, once you reduce it, that you're good to go.